Hi everyone, welcome back, and today we're going to be exchanging my monitors. I got some new Dell Ultra Sharps for only $20. They're 75 hertz, so let's go ahead and see how these work. Okay, so first of all, let's go ahead and unbox these. They're still in the box. Okay, we got them up right here. Let's uh, go ahead and unbox it. It is a little weird though, uh, this might be a little old DVI cable. I was actually trying to get a DVI cable because this is the kind of cable that I need to connect it to my computer, but uh, there's a little missing pins in the middle. I don't know if that's just an older version or if it's actually missing. I think it's actually an older version, but I don't know if this will work with my computer. So let's get out the next thing. Oh, they even included a USB cord. Okay, what else? Another power cord. I have millions of these. Don't need that, but the next thing. A VGA cord. Okay. That's pretty standard. And the monitor. There's one. It's a ton bigger than I thought it was going to be. Let me get the next one out. Or, oh, it's actually only one. The, the, the description said dual Dell Ultra Sharp. So it turns out there's actually only one monitor you will receive. Even though it says dual and these monitors all over the place, there's one place where it says what you will receive. And it says one Dell Ultra Sharp. So that solves that mystery. I don't know why they kept saying dual everywhere, but that's what it is. Okay, here's the monitor itself. Not too badly scratched or anything, but it's totally dusty. We're gonna have to clean that. Okay, so this monitor I'd say is definitely a lot, a lot, a lot more different better, I guess, than I thought it was going to be. Uh, definitely, it's a, a lot bigger. It's supposed to be 17 inch, but I don't know. Is that 17 inch? Okay, it's definitely adjustable. You have your pivot up, pivot, uh, I don't know if this is called uh, angle. You can adjust the angle. You can go, uh, yeah, you can go up. You can go all the way down to the floor or all the way up to the sky. You can uh, you can't tilt it this way, but you can tilt it this way. That's it. And then you can tilt it back like this. Uh, yeah, you can tilt it like this without the stand actually moving. Then on the side here, you got two USB pass-through ports. That's like a uh, hub. On the side here, you have nothing. It is a little scratched up. I do have to say that. On the bottom here, we got... 
DVI, VGA, USB, and I guess some more USB pass-through ports. And man, this thing is really dusty. Looks like it's been in the warehouse for a while, but anyways. Okay, so overall, I'd say this is a pretty good monitor for $20. It's, it comes at 1280 by 726 I believe. I'll post it on the screen if I'm wrong. And it, it runs at 75 hertz. Now, with my other monitors, they came at 60 hertz, but I was able to overclock them to 75 very easily. This one comes at 75 hertz. I tried overclocking it to 76 hertz. It was able to take that, okay? 77 hertz, no, nope, wouldn't work. So this monitor only achieved a one frame overclock, and that's not very good. But besides that, the monitor looks good. It has a lot better visuals compared to the other monitors. The brightness and contrast is pretty good. And for $20, I can highly recommend this monitor for someone to use if they need a new monitor. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. And if you did, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you hated it. Subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.